In this series, we will be making configuration changes to help you understand how to customize your site and learn commonly used jargon. We start with installing Drupal and finding, installing, and enabling a contributed module. Let's take a tour of the final site that we'll be creating. This is our front page. On this front page, you can see multiple blocks and pieces of content. We're going to learn how to create these by making our own special content type. This content type is full of fields, and we are going to add each one of these fields in. What this translates to, if we end up clicking on this piece of content, is you can actually see all the fields that we created. There's many text fields as well as multiple images and a big text area. We are going to discuss all of these options for our custom content type. In addition to that, we are going to make a listing page. We're going to name our listing page Press Releases and choose to only show pieces of content that are press releases and we'll specify which fields we'd like to display. Other items that we are going to work with are creating listing blocks as well as custom blocks where we get to type the content that we'd like in there. In addition to clicking on almost every single element at the top here, we're going to focus on just a couple important things. Also in the structure section, we have taxonomy. Taxonomies are ways you can categorize content. So we'll go ahead and make that possible. One of the funnest things that we get to talk about is the look and feel of your site. The look and feel of your site is controlled under the Appearance tab, where you get to select your default theme and also configure some items on it. But what makes Drupal so wonderful is the fact that you can download contributed modules and themes. So we will go ahead and discuss strategies for finding the best modules to suit your needs as well as the best themes for you. And then we'll go ahead and download and enable all of those. So let's continue on to our journey of learning how Drupal works. Drupal